In this video, we're going to explore the drag and drop features of Planet Together. I'm going to show you four features today, four aspects of drag and drop in Planet Together that we feel separate us from the pack, really differentiate Planet Together from any other system, uh, systems drag and drop. So first I want to show you, uh, at least I'll explain what I've got going on here on the Gantt. Um, right now I just have three jobs, three successor jobs. You can see if I move some blocks out here, they are connected. Job one goes into job two, job two goes into job three. On the right hand side here, I have my jobs list showing me um, I've got a bunch of jobs in the system. I actually have the first three scheduled for simplicity here. So let's center these guys. And what I want to show you is Planet Together's unique ability to um, keep successors in line. So if I push job two out, it's going to push job three a little bit. And if I push job one, it's going to push job two. Now in most systems that claim they have drag and drop, they do, but they don't keep that constraint. You'd have to move job three out, then move job two out, then move job one. But in plan together, I can simply just move job one, and it pushes the rest out. Now you might say, okay, well what if those jobs are on different resources? Well, let's try it. Let's move job two down to resource two. Job three, let's move down to resource three. You can still see my links here. And let's try it out. Let me move job one, and it pushes job two, and it pushes job three. So I think that's a clear example of how Planet Together uh, manages those um, constraints. Exactly is true for moving things up in the schedule. Um, if I try to move job three up, well, I can't because it move because job two blocks it. Um, so it's really nice. I don't have to worry about moving something forward uh, into a spot where it can't be completed. All right, now let's talk about moving jobs from different resources that are full. So let's um, let me move these guys back up to resource one. And let's throw some jobs on the schedule here. So I'm going to move job 12 over, job 15, get some small ones in here, job 16, job 18. I think that's enough. And I'm going to compress the uh, idle time here. You can compress the idle time. Um, what this does is it takes away any of the gaps in the schedule, if possible. So there we go. There we have it. All right. So for example here, I want to put job one, I want job one to run on uh, resource two, but I want it to run between job 16 and 18. Now, in other systems, you might have to do something like this. I might have to pull job three out, job two way out. Let's, let's make a gap here job 16, 18, and then I'll move job 1 uh, down to this gap and then compress. Okay, so that's one way to do it. But in Planet Together, you can do it all at once. All I have to do is take this first job, put it between 16 and 18, it automatically pushes 18 out and then pushes job 2 and 3. So you can imagine on a large scale here, if I'm trying to move something into a particular place, this is very useful. It automatically pushes those jobs out of the way. Now this next feature is really cool. Um, it's our multi-move feature. So let's get these jobs back on the schedule here. Let's say, for example, you wanted to move uh, job one, two, and three down to resource three. Well, most drag and drop systems make you do one move, then the next move, and then the next move. So there they are. They're all on, on one resource. Let's move them back up to resource one. I'll show you what multi-move can do for you in Planet Together. So I'd simply shift, draw a lasso around these jobs. They're selected. And I'll simply drag down here and drop on resource three, and boom. All three jobs move at the same time right to where I want them. It's a really great feature of Planet Together.
it'll cut your you know if you have to do 50 moves um, and uh, you could have done them in blocks of, of 10 operations then you're cutting 50 moves down into five moves so really empowers you to get through your schedule or uh, creating your schedule more quickly and for those of you who like lists um, you're not left out here we have a list moving tool called our activity list let me bring that up show pane dialog here and we'll go to activities and what the activities do uh, it, I select a resource and it shows me what's scheduled on that resource in this case I've got job one two and three on resource three on resource two I have uh, 12 15 16 18 and you say okay well why does this really matter well it matters because um, Typically, you're not looking at a schedule as clean as this and as zoomed in as this. Nor look at we're zoomed into Wednesday. We're looking at it by hour. Normally, you might be looking at uh, two a week. Let's look at a week. Well, a week those items get pretty tiny up front, and uh, if we want to um, try to schedule around them, it's it's pretty complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the Gantt color to show the product code so we can distinguish between these operations. Let's change my labels here to show product code. Save and close. So now, if I zoom in again, just to show you, I've got blue, beige, uh, this bluish green, and an orange. So corresponding to uh, blue, beige, and the green and the orange right here. Just so you know what I'm doing. So I'll zoom back out to a week. And uh, actually, well, let's just zoom in. For example, I think you get the idea that it's easier to schedule on the on the uh, list view in this case. So I'll zoom back in here. And I can easily move job 18 right up to the front here. I'll just drag on the uh, Gantt here. Actually, let me drag with a right mouse click. Let go. And there you have it. The uh, brown job popped right up to the front. And I get a green confirmation here that it was successful. And let's see. I can also move the blue job, J12. Let's move it to the back of the line. Perfect. And I can compress my time and I'm all set to go. Same goes for if I want to do multi-move here. The activities grid has the ability to load two resources at the same time. So let's say I want to move everything from resource two onto resource one. Well, I select resource one here. It's not showing any jobs. So I've got some resource two selected here. I'll simply highlight all the rows and then drag down to resource two and let go. And there we have it. The jobs jump up to resource one. So Gantt for those who are more visual, we've got the activities list for those who like lists. Um, as you can see, whatever I click on, let's see if I can show you this. If I'm on resource one, let's go to resource three, it might be a little easier. As I click on jobs, they automatically highlight in the jobs grid and on the activities grid. Um, they update automatically. So there you have it. There's Planet Together's drag and drop feature. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please comment uh, below the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for watching.